We've got the Chief of the Wildlife Division with the DNR with us, Russ Mason. Uh, Russ, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now let's talk about uh, a little bit of a serious topic, uh, EHD. Uh, it seems like it is spreading. You know, there's a number of farmers out there, hunters out there that are finding deer by water. Um, you know, and they're like, well, there's really, what can we do? But the, I guess the question is, uh, is the DNR going to change anything this year for the deer management plan? No, we're not. I mean, there are a couple of things folks should understand. First, Michigan is not alone in EHD this year. Every Midwestern state is seeing a serious outbreak. What's different about Michigan is we've got veterinarians. Illinois doesn't. Indiana doesn't. Ohio doesn't. So we've got somebody that is actually paying attention. Plus, we, we made a real effort this year to get volunteers out early in the year when we thought we might have a problem, so we're getting good numbers. We've got about 21 counties reporting now. It's throughout Southwest Lower mm -hmm. Peninsula. We're very concerned. We're not gonna be changing anything this year for a couple of reasons. One, I can't think what we could change that would be enforceable at this point. We're way down the road mm -hmm. with all the guides being printed and licenses being oh, yeah. sold, so we'd ask folks to exercise restraint if they if they don't think they want to shoot an animal don't do it you know right. it's, it's an interesting thing and something that's always amazed me <laughs> hunters will tell me you know say you know i know what i'm doing i'm an ethical guy but every everybody else right. they're breaking the law so you right. it, no the community together can exercise some restraint but at the same time we're very concerned we're going to be looking at these numbers this year we're considering what we might do differently next year, mm -hmm. whether that's changes to regulations or changes to the size of 486, breaking that up into more manageable units. You know, we, we created right. this large area. Um, and EHD isn't the only reason for that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at deer automobile uh, right. accidents, for example, in, in southern Michigan, there are counties where it's going down 20% year after year after year. We are seeing declines in deer numbers, we believe, by some of our metrics in southwest Michigan. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why. It's right. not disease, it's not harvest, it's not changes in agricultural practice. Do you think There's it's, it's the birth on. rate that, that maybe uh, we, we overestimated in past years, the birth rate or anything like that? No, I, you know, I don't know. That's something we want to take a look at. But, you know, we're, we're going to be looking at what we will do differently next year. And so what I really want to get across to hunters is we are concerned. You know, we, we created 486, by the way, to to enhance convenience for mm -hmm. folks. Folks will say, you know, the reason you're not removing a license this year is because you just need the money. Well, we do need money, but the fact of the matter is I created 486 a couple of years ago to increase convenience. It was a huge revenue hit to us. Mm -hmm. So it's not about money. It's about what we can reasonably do this year. And we will be looking to do something different probably next year because we are very concerned. Now, now EHD, uh, it has not been as widespread as it is this year. Uh, why doesn't it affect or, or does it affect other you know, wildlife? People have asked, what about cows? What about horses? What about other wildlife? Does it affect those? It doesn't, it doesn't affect those species symptomatically. A cow could be a carrier for the, for the disease, actually, but they are asymptomatic. It doesn't affect anything but deer. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting if you look, you go on the internet and you, you look at the drought map mm -hmm. for Michigan, you know, all kinds of states are having drought problems this year. If you look at extreme drought or high drought in Michigan, the outbreak of EHD maps perfectly onto that. With the drought. I mean, it's literally a one-to-one -one correspondence in, in southwest Michigan. What's going on here is it's a biting midge, it's a noceum that carries the disease. Mm -hmm. They like mud as it turns out. Mm -hmm. And so you've got more mud exposed this year because there's yeah, exactly. less water. You've got deer going into those places looking for water, so they're now being exposed. And you've got deer dying in those places with other deer coming in for water. So you, you've got a, a bad deal going on there. Hopefully we'll have a nice hard winter this year because mm -hmm. the disease overwinters in adult uh, flies. It doesn't okay. overwinter in the larvae. Mm -hmm. right. Kill them all off. Right. Uh, and at the same time we get some water because we need it. Now, having said that, you pointed it out, we've had an outbreak every single year since about 2006. It's a climate change thing, folks. Mm -hmm. If you ever wondered what climate change meant to you, to deer hunters, this is climate change. This is something that we're gonna have forever in mm -hmm. the state. It's gonna happen to a more or less extent 
from now on. So how important is it uh, if I'm a farmer out there or I'm a hunter out there uh, when I see a deer that's dead like that? Uh, if, to report it to the dealer. If it's a fresh deer, report it. We're very interested in getting that information. We want the best numbers we, we, we can get right now. Right now in those, uh, I was looking last, last week we had 19 counties reporting and about 21, 2200 deer that we'd found. If you multiply that by three, and I'm just by three because that's the number that's typically used mm -hmm. in predator studies, one dead cow for every right. three. Um, and you compare that just to the harvest in those 19 counties. 130,000 deer were killed in those counties last year. So right now we're looking at somewhere between 2 to 6% dead from this, relative just to the harvest, not mm -hmm. to the population. So again, it's a small number, but it's very concerning to us. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, legally, uh, somebody uh, goes out there and they see a, you know, a dead deer with a big, huge rack type of thing. Uh, is that something that they can keep, that they need to call the DNR to turn it in? What's the procedure there? They turn it in. Mm -hmm. We might give it back to them. You know, we had a, a pretty nice buck come in in Jackson County that had died from EHD. We returned, we, we did the analysis and returned, returned the head. As it turns out, it's illegal to have a right. antlers attached to, to the animal without sure. a tag. During the season, if you found it, if you, you felt like tagging that, then okay, that's your tag. You then. can do okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, just to kind of clear it up, because, you know, uh, hunters are going to be out there, and a lot of people have also, uh, you know, taken pictures of dead deer on the ground, big racks, and like, well, what should I do? Mm -hmm. And so there's our answer. There's the answer, and, and I'm anticipating if it was like last year, for example, we're going to see an uptick in concern here because farmers are going to be out. Mm -hmm cutting their fields, and when they do that, they're going to find more carcasses, and right. they're going to go, oh my gosh, the world's fallen. It's not fallen. All the deer are not going to die. But it could result in very clear population reductions in localized areas, mm -hmm. and that, in turn, is going to lead us to think about what we might be doing differently, because not only this, but for all of those other reasons that I just mentioned, there are, something's going on in southern Michigan, we're concerned about it, and we'll be looking to see what we can do next year. All right, hey, thanks for being with us. You bet. Chief of the Wildlife Division, Russ Mason, has been our guest here on our DNR Update. I'm Tim Hart, and you're watching the Q1 Buck Poll.